Hello! I am Madison for the Kingman Golden Eagles RC Club in Kingman, Arizona. So, if you remember the last time we watched Jim cranking on this Corsair's prop, that engine never did start. He worked on it for like almost an hour and wore out his arm, but he never did get that thing to run. Today he was having that same issue again and after a few minutes I had to give up on shooting my video. But just after I turned away, there it was running. Jim was ready to go. That's a beautiful plane. He built it himself from plans about 20 years ago he said, and he's had several different engines on it over the years. Right now it has a 120 cc twin gasoline engine with electronic ignition. I think he's pretty happy with it. You know how pilots are. He's still playing with his engine a little bit, but he'll be ready soon. Jim's waiting for takeoff clearance. And... He's good to go! All right, fly away. We're ready to see her take off. That's a big, beautiful aircraft. Incredible. There she goes. Whoa, right rudder. Whoa, look at that thing. He's flown that plane often. I thought he'd be ready for that twist to the left, but there's a lot of torque in that new engine. Gosh. He's flown so far away. I can barely see it. I know it's out there. I can hear the engine roaring. Okay. Yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful. Just awesome. I was unable to take video of most of the flight because the ship was so far away most of the time. Okay, he's going to circle around for a landing. Nice. People are telling him that he's coming in with the wind. He's going to have the wind behind him if he comes in from that side. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. It's only a very light breeze and Jim figures that his Corsair is so fast and so heavy that it won't matter. Look out! It's gonna crash! Oh my god! Good skip! Here we go in slow motion. I don't know what went wrong. Maybe the tailwind was a factor after all. Oh, that's so hard to watch. Oh, look at that wheel spinning away from the crash. Oh, thank goodness nobody was hurt. There were people right back there and they didn't even have time to jump. Whoop. Jim says the ship is a goner. She sustained some damage in that hard landing and she broke an $800 landing gear unit that he's not going to replace. That was the last flight for that big bird. Thanks Jim, what a show. I'm so sorry to have seen that crash. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and push that like button. We need more likes. See you next time. Bye-bye.